shoulders down So we're all breathing. So you want the hips sink back and down. So yeah, because the day retreat is going to be on Zoom as well. It's I'm keeping it the same day. And you could come from a if you just want to come for half a day, it'll be ten o'clock till one, and then um, something like one forty-five till four. 
So you just want to feel that you've got lots of room in your body. Um, so make sure you're sinking your hips. Hips are sinking, that's it. And you, you like this swaying movement, you're feeling this nice movement in the through the feet. So really pay attention to what you can feel. <clears throat> what you can feel in your in your feet and also the contact between the feet and the ground. There'll be things happening in the ankles, there'll be things happening in the knees. And then just relax the shoulders and relax the arms. So you want really soft, loose, relaxed arms and all your joints, think of all your joints as kind of opening a bit. So you've got this nice open feeling in the joints, like loads of space. Yeah, if I could have got here a bit earlier, and it depends how far out the, the internet is. Or out that way. Yeah, let's investigate after and have a little fact finding, because we can always go and... Because they don't know, as long as they can see me, it's okay, as long as it's yeah. working. So we can put them. I'll just unplug everything. So now what we do is we combine the forwards and back with the side side and get round and round. There's a lot of birdies round this hall, isn't there? <laughs> Brilliant. So um, keep going. Nice and relaxed. And this Feeling the connections through the body, feeling very grounded and centred.
also, because of the hot weather, we're going to make sure all our joints are warmed up, that we've done a proper sort of warm up for the joints. But I'm just warming up the feet by getting you more used to being in them. Okay, so we're sinking down, nice and tall, and then we're going to do the figure eight, figure eight in the feet. So we're really tuning into that contact with the ground. So it's really good exercise to do to develop your balance. So I'll just get to the end of this of exercises. Then I think I forgot, possibly forgot to mute everybody as per normal on Zoom. I, I usually forget that, and I just check that I've got the sound right and stuff. Okay, but we're, we just want to be nice and relaxed. So this soft, smooth and slow movement. And then... We're all breathing. And as you're breathing, as well as breathing, you're following what your breathing is doing. Just... Not exclusively, just this sort of general, general internal awareness and then an external awareness, kind of working together. It's a bit like, and then we go in the other direction, so this is, yeah. So any, any sort of like sudden change or surprise or new movement or old movement, looking at it in a new way, it can set off your natural fight-flight type stuff, which is really good. I mean, it's, that's what it's for. It's for dealing with emergencies. But because it doesn't really distinguish, you can get the same responses coming if you get like a brown envelope through the door or something, you know? Okay. So it's like, yeah, and you just go, okay, uh, relax at anything. Anything external, whatever, or you've had a bad dream, or whatever, relax. So you want to, you soften the muscles, you calm the mind, regulate the breathing. So by using the breath as an anchor, that can lead to feelings of relaxation. Or just focusing on the thing, and then it, you find yourself relaxing. So it's not something that you can instantly say, right, now I'm relaxed. There's a process in order to get to relaxation. And then when you go through the process, eventually it's faster and faster. So it feels like it isn't instantaneous. Oh, right, now I'm relaxed. Right, I can do all this stuff now. Okay, right, now we just go back and just feel your feet while I make sure I've set the proper zoom thing up. Oh, should we? You know, I've been teaching Zoom for like ages now. Oh, you all muted yourselves. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's some internet issues. Yes, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Well, it seems to be okay in the hall. Um, the internet is actually working quite well, which is very unusual. <laughs> so, um, the video hopefully won't be glitchy, um, but yeah. So is the sound okay, actually, those of you on, on the Zoom? Is it? Yeah? Great. Great. So again, we're just tuning into the feet and we're... Let's do bounce, but we're, we're doing a sort of understated lackadaisical bounce today because it's just too hot and we want to look after ourselves. What's that say? Sound good. Okay, great. Thank you. Everyone's happy. That's good. <laughs> so we're doing a... Oh, actually, I'll show it from the back. I'll show it from the back. So this bit, you want to you wanna lengthen in the lower spine. Lengthen in the lower spine by sinking and floating up. Your, your head is... You're suspending from the head. Or you can think of your head as floating. I think I prefer suspending from the head seems a bit like less effort than float from the head makes me think like that. Whereas if I suspend from the head, that, that 
seems to be working. They might, you know, do whatever works for you. And we're looking at vertical alignment, getting your alignment and, and tall. So there we go. And let's do a little bit of shake. So, So when you're shaking, you want to let let go in these these shoulder joints. I'll come a little bit closer. So we're just so we're just letting go, letting go. That's it. And I'm, I'm connecting to the ground. That was it. I mean, then from so you can see it, how it all works together. So I'm connecting through my body. I'm connecting through my body via. If you want to think about something, although. Or visualise something. You've got your, your myofascial links all through the muscles and all the joint, all connected. Everything's connected. Oh, oh, oh lovely. But not too vigorously. It's just a gentle, a gentle shake. And then the chin is is tucked away gently. Okay, back to balance. And then we'll do. We'll go. We'll carry on with the loosening. And we'll just. Yeah, so it's been somewhat quite hot, so you want to look after your joints and make sure they're all nicely mobilised and not too sticky, sticky fine. So you want to you want to keep the arms in front, keep the arms in front. Let's do this in slow motion. Any other? Yes. Yeah, cats. You want to watch cats. That's a good point. You want to watch cats. And how they move. They are family. So what you want to avoid with this one is avoid going too far back. You want to keep your arms in front. You want to keep your arms in front and you want your shoulders down. And we're we're just just kind of yeah. Really let go in the palms of the hands. See what you notice. What are your fingers feeling? Notice what your fingers are feeling. So for us in this hallway, because we've got all the doors, we've got the doors open, we've got the windows open, because it's very warm in here. So we've got a really nice breeze that blows through every now and then. And that breeze has an interesting sensation on the skin, you see. So there might be something happening where you are that you can notice. And again, don't get stuck on it, but just notice, oh, it's there, okay, right, I'm going to relax again now. And just use this as a way of practicing your, your relaxing. In a relatively, I oh, would we'll turn the palms up, sorry, relatively, not a lot happening environment. So you can really get relaxed. And then when you're out there, and like for example, I had to have a very good, um, I was very glad that I did Tai Chi, because... The, the, the well-being lady come up to me, my boss, my boss at the care place, said, oh, the person that was leading the church service is just found in sick. We've got no one doing the church stuff. Could you do some Tai Chi with them? I said, well, yeah, we could do, I don't know. So when we were doing the Tai, I thought, right, so I relaxed. I thought, okay, yeah, okay, how are we going to do this? All right, I know this is your church service, so if you want to think up some prayers while we're doing the Tai Chi, you can do that, and then you're still in church. Sorted. And then, and then I asked them, what do you normally do in the church service? And they go, we normally sing three hymns, but I can only do the, the tune for two. I said, well, I know the tune for two hymns. So we did the Tai Chi session, and then we did some hymns. I have never done that before in my life. It's very interesting. And um, really useful to be able to relax. You wouldn't want me to sing it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, we won't do any hymns today. Sorry. You'll have to do it on a... On a... What's up? Well, you've got it down. I've got a hymn in my head. Yeah, yeah. We did, we did all things bright and beautiful. Oh, God. We it's a good tune. He you know. chose that as one of our wedding songs. And it's got about eight verses. It's got like a million verses. I only know the first few verses and then it was it was very
very good. So basically, the thing is, what you do is whatever the situation, the new situation, has the same effect on your on your um, defence system in the brain and spinal cord as someone coming at you with a fist or whatever. It, it's the same mechanism. So, therefore, you have to adopt the same mechanism to deal when it gets set off, which is just kind of do the things you need to do in order to get into that state of relaxation. Which this is one of them, actually. So we just been Beaches, great for town, small, no. <laughs> okay, and change. Yeah, relax or I'm going to sing hymns at you. There we go. <laughs> oh, it was really fun. That's great. And they all loved it. I've got a, I've got a clap and everything. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, just relax. So we're just, we're just noticing. Noticing things. So it's perfectly fine to not feel relaxed. Because sometimes you do need that. Say there is someone trying to nick your, your stuff or whatever, then you will need that. But then once you've, you know, but then you can kind of just get into, yeah, but able to do stuff. Once state. you become the same equation, you take double figures. Yeah, 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 it's fine, just relax. Yeah. Just relax. There's no problem. Because the thing is, the inflation is going to be doing what it's doing anyway. You can't do anything. By getting tense about it, you're not getting anything sorted out. So oh, you yeah, just go, yeah. you know, I can't pay the electric bill, I've got all these blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm just going to relax. Right, fair enough. It doesn't mean to say you're giving up and you're not pret and you're pretending everything's okay. But what you're doing is you're getting yourself into a, into a more functional mode. Then you can sort stuff. So, okay, with this one, you want to. Let's do this in, I'll, I'll just, a uh, demonstration. The hand comes across, and when you feel it touch the side of your body, it will just naturally flip up. So if you just do this, and have a little turn, and so it just naturally, there you go, see? And then you're not having to put it anywhere, because it's kind of gone there itself. And then, just so your other arm don't feel jealous, let's do it the other side. Oh, and then, uh, just so you can see it from the back, this is what it, so I'm, I'm just using my body all the time, I'm using the body in a connected manner all the time to get, to get from A to B. So that's that. And then you've got this, this thing, like when we were doing bound. We come up, and then we transfer the weight down. Up, transfer the weight. Now, every single person, this is, this is technically from Chen Man Ching style Tai Chi Chuan. Um, Every single Chen Man Ching person I've met who will teach, they all do their loosening slightly different. So you want to just relax the, the arms and allow the arms to be moved by the body. So you want to really, really let them go. Really let them, really, really like start when you're punching. Boom, 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 boom. You want to be nice and relaxed. Yeah. Very, very 
to take a hilarious Tai Chi instructor. He was brilliant. He was always very funny. There was one time where he was teaching, teaching, um, I think it was the 18th set, and he was actually smoking a flag. <laughs> was a, that's why he's not here. He got yeah. a lung, lung, um, lung, uh, I think it was lung cancer, it was some sort of cancer. But I, I just remember it was just, because it's just before, you know, this is a long time ago, and he's puffing my, right, hang on, put it, right, okay, right, relax everybody. And it's just, but, um, I'm smoking back I can't remember. Was it, years ago? was it about, yeah, it was a more, yeah. yeah, we were outdoors. We were outdoors, so. He was always outside, because there's always someone, um, when they smoke, they're always the ones outside. Yeah, in the group, in the north Chatting corner. in the yeah. naughty corner, no, it's fine. But um, I'd often, um, where I work, I often go outside where the smokers are doing my chi, doing my Tai Chi. Oh so God. I'm having chi cigarettes. <laughs> so it's, it's like the same thing. It's fine. And he just nice and relaxed. But he used to have this thing. So there was there was this move, and he was trying to teach us this move, but none of us could do it. And some people were getting a little bit. Um, Frustrated, yeah, they were getting very frustrated. I can't remember the movement, but I remember looking at people's faces and they're all going, you know, and getting really kind of almost upset that they couldn't do the move, and, you know. And then he he had a very, really, really cool Glaswegian accent. Um, and I'll, if I do it, it will sound like Dick Van Dyke trying to speak. Cockney, so, um, but he'd say, so what? So what? So what? So what? Okay, you can he do it? So what? And then, then he, you know, and he would say, don't worry about it. And was using all these, just, yeah, and I just every now and then, like, if I find myself getting flustered and flummoxed, I could think of Ronnie going, so what? <laughs> oh yeah, so what? Oh you can I can relax. Oh. oh who cares? It's great. And then and then eventually it will you'll start doing the movement yourself without having to you want to avoid analysing and thinking about how you're doing something. You just want to do it correctly. So you need to bypass something. I'm still trying to work out I'll have to ask Corell about it, because he'll be able to you know, melt my brain with science again, but it's, and I, the clue, so we'll do this, so yesterday, sort of clue into that way, that mode of learning stuff, um, I got to hang out a couple of hours before I went and did my hymn singing, uh, with a one year old, young chap called Alex, very nice chap, who's one, and he's really into aeroplanes at the moment. He'll point up and go, duh. And then we all have to dutifully look up and go, oh, look, yes, there's the aeroplane. And he'll go, duh, yes, there's one over there. He's really into aeroplanes. It's fantastic. But we were, we were having a rehearsal. Um, we've got a thing coming up for a, for a friend. And um, when we were all playing our instruments and fiddles and singing, he was copying. And he had, you know, he had a thing that he'd bang with a with a spoon yeah. bang to join in. Um, and then he wanted to go on my fiddle, so I gave him, you know. And, and the thing is, he wasn't trying to work out what we were doing. You see, that's what I noticed. So the, the, the way of learning in Tai Chi is at that level. It's at that level. So he just copied. He just copies, and I, uh, one of the, uh, uh, the mum was singing and was gesticulating with her hands a bit, and then he started, <laughs> just like how she was doing it, just like mimicking, like mimicking. So it's it's that kind of an idea. So when you see a movement, you want to be more like little baby Alex and just do the movement and copy it without working out how it works, and that works much better. If you start trying to analyse stuff, then you start getting a bit flustered. And, 
And then because you're not relaxed, then it doesn't, and he was very relaxed as well. When he wasn't upset and wanting um, rice cakes, um, <laughs> because if he wants a rice cake and you don't give it to him, he gets really tense. But most of the time, he's very, very relaxed. And, and he was climbing up things and going down on things and then watching things and pointing at the aeroplanes. And this, this openness is what you want to kind of cultivate, but without the, the strops and the screaming and the um, <laughs> throwing up and, and, and covering, yeah, covering your face with food and um, um, nappies. Yeah, so it's like that part, but without all the mess, is what you want. There we are. Oh. Right, let's get our joints very happy and very, very, very flexible. And he was doing amazing things like he was lifting his foot up and he could put it all the way. It was amazing. I was like, wow. So, yeah, the flexibility. Yeah, you're developing your flexibility of mind like you're one years old and you've just seen an aeroplane. That, exactly. That's the kind of, oh, it was brilliant. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, there we are. Uh, let's have happy shoulders. Let's do this shoulder. We're just going to go like this. One, two. So hot weather, hydration, joint mobilizations. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then round the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then the other direction. One, two, three. Lovely. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, we just just tune into this nice. And uh, when he stood up, actually, he'd kind of stand up like this, and then it'd be a bit like, and then fall back on his bum. But it was, it's that's really good posture, really good posture. You want to? I mean, I've noticed noticed in my uh, nieces they're starting to slouch a little bit because they're now, you know, at school. You sort, of, but when you're when you're one, you've got very good natural posture. And you're, and then crawling, really good crawling, fantastic. So um, anyway, and this very open, open mind unless you see something you wanna eat. <laughs> it pretty much seemed to be everything, actually. That's, that's quite strange. But um, yeah, it was good to have a hobby. And um, yeah, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way. One, two, three, but feel it in your whole body. Five, six, Seven, eight, right, up, down, one, two, three, I love this one. Five, six, seven, eight, shake, shake, shake. Six, seven, eight, very nice, go round. Six, seven, eight, and the other way, very good. And then, are you on face ache? Or are you not on face ache? Okay. You're on WhatsApp? And then the other way. I work with big computers all day, so I don't okay. think it's fun to do it. Yeah, you don't really want to be on that. Okay, and then over and under. Okay, I'll show it. I used to show it to you after. Over as well, eight. Great. So, and then we'll do. I oh, will do this one. 
So we're just feeling that shoulder joint opening, closing, opening, closing, opening. And we've got our chin tapping. We're doing our sleepy tight eyes. Is that the dragon walking when we think that? The dragon walking, yeah, we're not going to do that. Not here, no. No, that's the Friday. That's Friday's one, yeah. We do the more character building. Interesting and character building movements are on the Friday at half eleven. For fun. Let's let's explode our legs. That'll be yeah. enough, yeah. I sent a pic I sent it to my mum. She was very happy to receive that. She goes, oh, isn't he lovely? Yeah, so I'll send him a, I'll send him an email. My mum fancies you. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. And then we go <laughs> we come up and round. Oh yeah, the singers might be coming. We might have to be moving grand pianos again. Oh I might see Sunny Yoga, because Sunny Yoga sometimes. stuff that I've done with Corella and Evoca Scuba. Um, <clears throat> and then we were looking at step back and circle arms. Just shake her. Okay. Breathing in and out. Let's just put your hands on your hips and we're just going to circle. Just very slowly and just notice your back. Notice your back. Yeah, the other thing that happened after I'd done the hymn singing at very short notice was I was just driving on my way back and then I saw a cyclist on the road and some people around him and I thought, oh, I'd better pull over and do my... Because I'd just done my first, you know, I'd pass my first aid and I thought, oh, I'd better do something. I'd better put me... I'd better do something. And then a proper, yeah, a proper victim, yeah. And then round the other way. And um, so I parked my car up, put the hazards on, put my jacket on, oh. and went, hello. And then, but by the time I'd arrived, and, you know, he was, he was, no, he was fine. He was just very sensibly staying on the ground. And um, then the ambulance turned up, so then I was using my first aid skills to do traffic control. It was great oh, wow. fun, but I was relaxed, so it was like, oh, okay, this is what we do. It was very good. Yeah, you've done, you done the training course, and then you think, okay, and then I was like, I could feel myself getting a bit excited, and I thought, oh, I know. Oh, okay, right, let's deal with this. Um, that was all right. And then round the other way. No, you can't. Yeah, Yeah, that was the same with the other guy. He was just a little bit, yeah. bit surprised. <laughs> just a bit surprised. That's all. And then, and then the wife turned up to put his bike away in, in her car and then me and the other passerby went and helped calm her down oh. and then helped put her bike, put bike in the car and then um, I hung around for the bit until the policeman person finally came and then um, yeah then I said oh because I didn't actually see it it meant I could go home so I was like okay fair enough but yeah you just sort of just relax <laughs> I really like this one today. It's like, do you know, this hot weather, it does do funny things to your body. It makes it kind of, oh, that's lovely. 
Okay, so um, let's just have a little shake out. Um, yeah, let's just do a little bit of, I'll just wait the legs up. I'll just check that the zoomies are all right. So there's, oh gosh, there's a lot of messages. Okay, brilliant. Right, so let's, um, we'll just do a little bit of kicking. One, two, three. So keep the knees soft for five, six, seven, and eight, and two. Because it's hot, we don't want to over. We don't want to um, dehydrate. Very important, because otherwise, um, you know, it's just sensible, you know. Drinking things that are water. Water's the best one. Um, yeah. That's hot water. That is hot water, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if you need to keep. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's hot, so you've got to listen to your body. And if your body wants to drink, yeah, just do that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, I was too hot with my sandals on, so that's why I mean, that's how hot it is. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, I drink, um, Master Chung, he got me into the whole hot water thing. So, when I trained with Master Chung about coming up 20 years ago now, and I'd go see him privately. I don't know if he's still teaching or anything, or you know what. And I'd go see him privately, and he always had a big flask of hot water that he'd just sip all day long, because that's what they did in Malaysia. And he was in Malaysia, he was from Malaysia. Yeah. And um, he'd always have two cups, one for him and one for his student. And we'd be there training with him like two or three hours, and then we'd just be sipping hot water. Yeah. And I just found it, because he was so relaxed as well. He was always very relaxed. Very, very soft spoken, beautiful movement, absolutely beautiful movement. And we'd be sipping hot water all through the class. Mm -hmm. And I just find it, I just, I just have the hot water. And it's just really nice and um, it's just very, um, yeah, very good. Yeah. And from Chinese medical point of view, it's supposed to be better for your stomach meridian or something if you drink the hot water. Oh, really? Well, I'll ask an acupuncturist why hot water's better than cold. And they'll tell you. They know a lot of stuff at your point because it's a proper degree course and it takes like at least three or four years. Some of them. I knew one, one guy that took four years full time as well. Because they learn all the Western science, especially in the UK. They have to learn all the normal science of medicine. Yeah. And then on top of that, they have to learn the Chinese sort of philosophy of medicine. And it, it's Proper brain, a lot of physios, you know, proper brain boxes. So nice and relaxed, just do this. And we're just going to transfer the weight and turn. So if you do it in a big, you know, then it will work the legs more, but it's too hot. So we're just, when, the important thing is you're sinking in your hips and you're aligning and you're nice, soft, and springy, Phil. So um, Evica Scuba, she's like kind of a hero of mine, she's brilliant. This is the way she's. Really takes no nonsense. She's one of these, but very, very pleasant. But you would not want to get on her wrong side. She's got this. She really is a sort of um, 
embodiment of outside the softness of cotton, inside the temper of steel. You know, she's got this very smiling, pleasant, and you just think, yeah, I wouldn't want to annoy her. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of, oof. Yeah. It's like when, um, or, or um, uh, Barry described the outside the softness of cotton, inside the temper of steel. Imagine you've got cotton wool, but inside a very sharp needle. Ooh. You know, that's what. That's what we're cultivating, so we've got this lovely. Well, if you need it, you've got your steel that you can, you know. But outside the soft, it's like when you do the bow, the fist, do the open hand first. Open hand first, then you've got this. So that's another thing Barry said. Yeah. So it's, it's like, it's like symbolic. They like, because I think because of the Chinese language, the, the actual writing of it is very, it's very yeah. symbolic, and they use like almost like visualized. They're almost like pictures. The the, the words yeah. like the characters. The characters. They're pictures, and they look like shapes of something. Um, so like water boiling, whatever. Um, there's a lot of symbology, I think, inherent in the way they yeah. they view things. It's quite symbolic and pic picture pictorial. I don't know a great deal about. So again, you've got your arm, the arm's just floating, the arm's just floating. Okay, try a bit quicker. So this is something I got from Corel, he likes to play with different speed. So you're still keeping, try and keep it consistent, consistent speed. Now slow down again, now slow down again. So you want to keep it, mm, just just relax a sec. So with the um, these movements, I'll come a bit closer for the for the for the movie, for the movie. So look, I'm it's the body movement you want to focus on, and you're connecting your arm with the body movement. 
So keep your chin tucked in, sink the hips. Okay, slow it down now, really slow it down. So you transfer the weight, as you transfer the weight, the hand comes across the top. Now sink and turn, sink and turn, now come in. So it's all about connecting with the legs. Because basically all these movements you can use like for applications, like it could be a throw, it could be a strike, depending on the speed, depending on the speed. So And keep your peripheral vision on the go rather than watching your arms. So you're looking out and you want to feel what's happening. So try it on the other side. Now pay attention to what you can feel in your back. Um, so do the other hand. So at this point, you should feel a stretch, or you might want to feel a stretch on the back and then you release the stretch. See, uh, it's that side, isn't it? I can't do me left and right. Okay, and then what we're going to do for fun is try and keep that connection through the body, but we're going to go a bit quicker. Now, before we go quicker, really relax. So, you want to be very fast. But even even more relaxed, so you kind of so very relaxed, very relaxed. Because then, if you relax, you can go really quite fast. When Corel does it, it's like a blur. Mm -hmm. And also, the, the movement's not as big. So you'll notice when you're doing it slow, you're doing it so it's quite big, quite exit, you know, big movement. Big movement, big movement, very big. When you do it fast, it kind of—it's different. Yeah, marvelous. Very good. Okay, so that's where your alignment comes in very handy because if you do it fast, it really highlights where your alignment might be a little bit. You might be a bit out of tune, so you might need to, you know. Okay, let's do wave hands like clouds, and then what was I actually? Oh yeah, we were supposed to be looking at step back and circle on. Sorry about that. Let's um, let's just do this then. Yeah. <laughs> like Brands Hatch. So yeah, I'm using my body. That was a good start. Very good. So what I'm doing, if I do it slow motion, I go. Step, hip forwards, then sink 
actually we can just do it as a little we can just do it as a little health exercise actually just that bit because that's bad enough well i'll try and waffle less next week and spend a bit longer on what i'd actually yeah that's right yeah i know yeah he was he was really into the rice cakes he was really into his baby amazing and i just so he wasn't lonely i said i'll better have a rice cake and then he's not eating on his own so it's all very good so the hands are like that this is how ever does it it's not how mike does it but this is for the chen star so you're pushing and pulling and we're just up it brushes past your cheek so she actually touched her cheek and We'd better, oh yeah, we're going to get the singers coming any second, aren't we? So, okay, sorry about that. That's about, but then we combine it with the with the, the foot movements, and then we just, oh, 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 yeah. So that's where the uh, coordination. This is developed your coordination. So it's all it's all good. So we're just nice and relaxed. Okay, we'll do sun and moon followed by triple heater. So we've not done triple heater for a while. And they're very good, uh, very good exercises to do. Oh, you're going back to your spot. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting in a room, people have their favourite spots. Um, I like to be as close to the back as possible, really, in any class. So I always hang around the back with the naughty people. Very good. But I do move around when needed, so if there's something I've missed, I was actually moving around. Look, right. Sun and moon, so we just do this. And down. Uh, up. Down. So the moon is like a reflection. So you've got the big movement, and then you've got like, or, or a ripple. Or something like that, or uh, yeah, or an echo. So that that kind of that kind of idea. There we go. One more time. Okay, and then triple heater. So you come up, heels off the floor. Heels off the floor a little more. Down. And then tippy toes. Now this is the bit where this works your balance. It's good for the ankles.
better get the chairs out and think. See you all later.